Okay, so here we are today at the 14th annual Phuket Rugby Tens International Competition, sponsored by Heineken. Now, all of these teams have come from around the world to compete for the winning trophy of this year's Rugby Tens. For the past eight years, Phuket Rugby Tens has been raising money for the Asia Centre Foundation that help underprivileged local kids in the area. Currently, this money is helping to keep these kids in school. Okay, we're here with Rulin Muller. She's the director of the Asia Centre Foundation. So, Rulin, where did this all begin? It began uh, 2002 in Patong, in a slum area, where we start the first childcare centre, uh, which is still existing, so that program is running 10 years this year. Where in, where in Patong is that slum area? Patong, well, it's not existing anymore. They built junk salon close to where that slum area was, so no, no slum area anymore. And so what was the displacement from that? Um, people disappeared in smaller, smaller slum areas and uh, also upgraded a little bit to a room, one, one bedroom kind of apartment thing, not apartment but a shack wherever they find it. Um, because that slum provided accommodation to many people that come from other areas and could not find something, they didn't have a strong income level, so they rented a small piece of land, put a shack on there and that's where they live. And it was for those kids that we prepared a childcare centre there in the slum. And where is the main place where these people are coming from, you think, from no. outside? From outside, yeah. from the northeast of Thailand. Yeah. Uh, we find many people come from there because it, they do agricultural work there and they want to find a different job here. There's a lot of hotels and the hotel industry employ people, but then they reach this, they reach Phuket and they realize that they're not trained for it and they start to do all kinds of low income jobs. So that's where basically most of the children's families come from. And so um, what was the inspiration to get involved? When we saw, well, I, I started to teach English in that area to some of the street vendors and we saw the need, the, the children will come uh, in big quantities, you know, when we teach the parents. So we started to take pencils and, and stuff, paper, and uh, we realized that these kids have nothing going for them during the day as well. You know? And in the slum there was two built rooms which we rented and that was our center. And we allowed anybody that lived in that area to send their children to our little center. And so, um, I mean, breaking it away from that, how did you get involved in, in, in this rugby event? Well, Patrick Carter, the organizer, came to us and asked if we would like to connect to this event. And we were looking for fundraising possibilities locally, because most of our funding we need to raise overseas. And it, it worked well, because I like sport, and um, we also started a youth rugby development program for the children in our foundation, and, and other schools here. So it worked well, the whole sport connection with the education. So we connected our scholarship program after the tsunami solidly to this uh, event. And this event raises all the money for the scholarship program so far. Well, that's great. Okay, so the finals are underway and it is raining cats and dogs here. But the show must go on. And by the look of these guys behind me, I don't think a tornado is going to stop them. Okay, we're here with Rudy. He's the coach of the South African team, Roosters. They won in 2010, and they were the runners-up in 2011, and they're back this year. Rudy, how do you think this year's going to go for you? I believe we will be the champions again in 2012. Um, great team that we have, and great spirit going on. Okay. 
Okay, so we're here with Pat. He's the main organizer of the event and the originator from when it started. How long ago? Uh, 14 years ago. Oh, that's a long time. Long time. We've come a long way in 14 years. We started with five teams, and now we're up to uh, what do we have this year? 20 in the main event and 12 in the uh, Cochrane Dodgers events team. And how many teams are coming from overseas? Uh, all of them. All the teams coming from overseas? All of them except we've got the uh, Thai Legends from Bangkok, the Bangkok Bangers and the Padia Panthers from, from Thailand. And what about this weather today? Do you think it's creating any extra challenges? Perfect rugby weather. What more, what more do you want? <laughs> Lots of slip and slides, right? Well, coming from the Northern Hemisphere, we're used to it. But you guys, you're used to the fast-flowing game, so... The heat. It's been a trip down memory lane for some of us. Yeah, right.